Hey, welcome back once again. Uh, right now we're looking at how to set up your output folders or to print to a PDF from Archicad. Now we're looking at Archicad 21 right now. Um, as we've done our videos over the years, we've moved up from, I believe, version 8 uh, to 21 now. So as we're looking at this, we just want to make sure everyone's clear on how to turn this. And this is just a set of walls I threw in so we didn't have to work from anything. We'll give you a more in-depth look at it later. But I want to make sure somebody that wanted to put out, spit out their stuff to a PDF so they could sketch on it, work on top of it, whatever, they had the tools. So as I were doing this, first thing I would do is I'd come over here and I'm going to open up my organizer. Now the organizer opens up a dual window situation. So I'm going to pop it up. So my organizer is going to pop up here. It takes a second to load. Uh, just as we're getting there. Now, here's my organizer. I, I'm going to max this up just a little bit. Let's see if I can drag him over just a little bit more and give us a little more room to work with. So, here's our drawing sets and here's our layouts to PDF right here. Now, that says um, I've got nothing there. So, if, if I open this, there's nothing in that folder. So, if I want to put something in that folder to publish, I have to select them from over here. Now, there's a couple ways to do that. We're going to make a whole new publisher set. So, I'm actually going to go up a level and so here's my space views my publisher sets I'm gonna create a new set and I'm gonna call this um, classroom publisher just because we we want to make sure we do this from scratch so I'm hit the create button here now it pops up there it is it just alphabetizes automatically obviously um, so I click on this and I'm gonna open it up now now, what I've got going on here, there's nothing in the folder. Okay, I'm gonna go back up one level. So, until I put something in the folder, there's nothing there, but I do have to establish the publishing property. So, if I click on the properties right here, I want this to be a single file. Now, because I want it to be a single file, it's gonna change a few things. Now, as I'm looking down this, I can create it with the folder structure, which if you come over here and look at your folder structure over here, you can actually end up with all the folders put in, or you can create flat files. But for our purposes in our classroom, we usually go with single file. And then the name right here is going to be what it's going to show up in your your file directory as when you save it. Now browsing, this is your path for location. For this purpose I'm in right now, I'm just going to put it on my desktop right here. So if I just scroll this out, desktop, okay, we're good to go. Now it's asking me do I want to find the info set and it's trying to format it as a BIMX hypermodel. Well first off I want a PDF. Once I take that look all the rest of these weird options go away that we don't usually use right now for our starters. So that goes away and I can just hit the OK right here. Now it's ready to go other than the fact there's nothing in here to publish. So what I can do is two things. I can either come over here and I can click each file and drag it over or I can grab the set, in this case it's an untitled set, drag it over and drop it off. Now that means everything under that set automatically shows up in there. So as I add files to this, they should show up in here. Now, I've got to play with this version of it to make sure that still works, but that should be functional. Now, once I go hit that, once I do that, I can just hit the publish button here, and it's going to publish everything to a PDF for me with the title blocks on it. Now, that set, it's all saved. I can go out of here. Now, if I come back to this, there's my go up a layer, Classroom Publisher right there. I just have to hit the Publish button here as well. And this is over on my Navigator bar. So once I hit that, same thing is going to happen. It's going to run them out over here in Publishing. And as it finishes each one, it's going to check them off or give me a warning sign on it, tells me what's happening. And we'll get everything spit out so we can look at it and we can work with it. So that's all we need. That's for our time right now. Thanks. Bye.